Hello, I'm Casey Robertson with Motorsportsland, and I'm here to show you the brand new 422 Raptor. This thing is awesome. This patio on the front is humongous. It's got room for everybody up here, and this is a lot, a lot of fun. One of the neat things about this new patio is the, the new fence. Um, the competition uses a fold-up fence that's rather awkward and hard to put into place. But this one is easy. They put all the fence on caster wheels. So all you got to do is take that, fold that, fold that. Super simple. Fold it back out, locks in place. Easy to go. Well, let me show you a few more features around this. Raptor has always been one of the number one selling toy haulers on the market. And there's a lot of reasons for that. They do things right. And they do the little extras that a lot of trailer manufacturers don't do. And it's all the little extras that make a really, really nice trailer. One of those little extras is the aluminum steps. These steps are so much easier to deal with. I just did all that with one hand effortlessly. So much easier to do than the big steel heavy steps. Um, the other thing I like about Raptor is their entry door. Their entry door is taller than everybody else's door out there. This is, I'm six foot tall and I've got another six inches of headroom in this doorway. Also, a real tinted glass window in the door instead of a cheap plastic shower glass. Raptor also has great pass-through storage. Why? Because it's one of the few toy haulers that does a drop-down frame design to give you the extra height in your storage area. And I really like the slide-out tray that comes with the Raptor. These doors are insulated and they got the really nice slam latch baggage doors. And what I mean by the really nice ones is the catches here and here are made out of metal instead of plastic. So they always work. Around the front is the Raptor cap design. I really like what Raptor has done with their cap. You have the mirror here and then you have a docking light that actually works because this docking light is shining down onto your hitch instead of having a couple docking lights here shining in the cab of your truck. The, uh, so the mirror, with the mirror and the light really helps make it real easy to hitch up when you're ready to go. Also, the bullet point of this cap is quite a bit lower than a lot of other fifth wheels. So as the wind comes off the top of your truck, it hits this and goes up and over the trailer instead of hitting it and going down into the bed of your truck. If you've ever towed a fifth wheel and looked in your bed of your truck and seen the leaves swirl around inside of there, that's because the wind is coming down into the bed of the truck. And that's why Raptor has designed this to give better aerodynamics to help on your fuel economy. Also, the Raptor cap is painted. It's an automotive paint on here on this dark color, so it's not gonna fade out as fast as the other guy's gel coat caps. Raptor also has really nice all-in-one hookup station. It's got a spot for your outside shower. Takes in your your uh, antifreeze for winterizing. City water connection is here. Uh, you can fill the tank through there as well. Um, all your cable satellite hookups, all your low point drains and your tank valves are all in the insulated and heated area. One other thing that's really cool about the new Raptor this year is the docking lights. I showed you the docking light on the front cap, but now we have some new ones. This unit has the six-point hydraulic auto level system. 
The Raptor has added LED lights where your jacks are. You got one here on the two front jacks here. You also have lights on the two in front of the wheels and on the two behind the wheels. That's gonna make it really nice if you're trying to set this up and level it up at night. Another thing I like about Raptor is how they've installed their generator. This has the 5,500 watt Onan generator. But what I mean by how they installed it, what's unique with Raptor, is you have the sound shield here. And just like every other toy hauler out there, it's an aluminum box that the generator sits in. Well, Raptor, instead of having a big gap right here and having the box come up and touch the door and try to keep it in nice and insulated, they've actually installed the box and sealed it all around here. And that really helps keep the noise down from the generator inside the trailer and also help keep the trailer heated better. So you're not getting cool air up through there. Another nice feature from Raptor that the other guys don't do. Ah, let's go back to the back of the trailer. In the rear of the Raptor toy hauler, we have our fuel station. Just like most all your other toy haulers out there, what's unique with Raptor is we have two tanks, okay? We have a tank up here for your pump, we got the tank here for your generator. Now these are 30 gallon for the pump, 30 gallon for the generator. What's nice about this is if you like to run a higher octane fuel in your dirt bikes, you can put that in here, but you don't need to run 90 octane fuel in your generator or higher than that. You can put the regular 85 octane in this tank. Fuel shutoff system, start system, and the gauge all right here outside for your convenience. Raptor trailers tow extremely smooth because they use the Equiflex suspension, which has rubber cushions in between the leaf springs to help keep everything nice and quiet so you don't get those weird popping noises. And standard with every Raptor are G-rated tires which is really nice for these toy haulers because they put a lot of load inside that trailer. Let's go around back. What I really like about the Raptors are these nice steps to get in here with a handrail. Well, I can't say enough about this fold up fence just because it's the easiest one to do. Another nice thing about the Raptor and this back patio is we got an awning for back here. And the awning is electric. Instead of a manual awning. So it's super easy to set up. And another thing that separates Raptor from a lot of your other toy haulers out there are your landing lights. These landing lights are under the awning. A lot of manufacturers put those lights above the awning. Doesn't make a lot of sense if you want some light on your patio. That's what I really, I really like these guys. This uh, garage area here is rather unique as well. You got a really nice toolbox for all your tie down straps. Every Raptor has all welded tie downs. These tie downs are welded directly to the frame of the trailer. Much, much stronger than a tie down that's just lag bolted through the plywood in the floor. Another thing that's really nice about this garage area is the new bed, bunk bed system. Uh, the old bunk bed system, you had these cushions here would come up and go and push the top bunk up. Now you can swing these cushions out of your way, go fold flat here, which gives you, oh, I don't know, eight, nine, 
10 feet <laughs> to get your razor and whatever other side-by-side -side that you have up inside this garage. Makes it really nice and easy. In the garage area, also the door here, tinted glass, not a plastic shower glass. I really don't like the plastic ones too because the frames on the outside always turn yellow if it's white. If it's black, it always turns gray. These match all the windows on the outside, makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, back to the 422 and the features that this particular trailer has. This trailer has a large garage that has a half bath, Also in the garage, LED lighting throughout, of course, uh, flat screen, TV, and stereo speakers. What's also nice about this Raptor is it has three air conditioners. Uh, the return air for the garage is here in the garage, which is, makes it a lot easier to keep the garage area cooled if you're trying to keep it cooled in here. And in fact, you can have three different temperatures. You can have a different temperature in the garage versus the main salon, versus the bedroom. It's a really neat setup, and it's super quiet. Let's go into the main salon area. This is a neat setup. This has got big couch with recliners in it. Also, you got the big flat screen TV but this flat screen TV, you can drop out of your way. So you get a nice window behind there. And if you're not watching TV, well, then you don't have to look at the TV all the time. Also, the entertainment system is really nice in this trailer. You have a Sony Blu-ray player. You have a JBL sound bar, plus you have speakers in the garage, speakers outside, speakers in your bedroom, and four different zone settings that you can set for that. Really a neat setup. Kitchen is nice too. This great big 18 cubic foot double, double door refrigerator freezer is the newest and latest and greatest from Norcold. 18 cubic feet and it's propane. So this will run on 110 when you're plugged in or propane when you're not plugged in. You've also got all stainless steel appliances. This is a really nice convection microwave combo. Stainless steel face oven. What's nice about Raptor that the other trailers don't give you is real solid surface covers for your stove instead of that metal cover that you can't really put anything on or use it for extra counter space. These are nice. Lots of counter space, cool LED lighting throughout. You, you got the new pull down sprayer faucets. I like that. It gives it a real modern look. Also with Raptor, not only do you get the 110 outlets for your appliances, but you have a charging center with a cigarette lighter plug in here and USB chargers. These are nice. Here we have where all your fuses and breakers are, plus your central vac system is right there. All your Raptors have a nice handrail. You know, a lot of trailers, they don't do these little extra touches. Handrails here. And a really cool thing is this new Jensen in command center. This thing is neat. You can check your tank levels. You can operate all the lights in the trailer. You can turn on the generator inside the trailer. You can put the slides out. You can put the awnings in or out. You can also do it from your iPhone. You can sync it up with your phone and you can put the slides out, you can put the awning out, level the trailer, put the jacks up. But what's really neat is there's a camera outside your door and a camera back in the garage 
that you can tie into your phone. So if you're in bed and someone comes knocking on your door, you don't even have to get out of bed to see who it is. All right, let's check out the bathroom. I love the doors in a Raptor. They just feel so much more like your doors at home. Towel bar rack, interesting. A lot of trailers don't give you towel bar hangers. Love the great big shower. Six foot tall, plenty of headroom, plenty of elbow space, uh, lots of counter space. Nice medicine cabinet. Drawers in the bathroom. A lot of times you don't see drawers in the bathroom, but nice to have. And of course, storage down there. I like this as well because it has another entrance into the bedroom. Of course, you can make it private. Once again, really nice solid pocket door. Not those hollow sounding doors like you see in the other trailers. Bedroom, really nice because it's got a ton of room in here. Uh, you have a king size bed. You have a real pillow top memory foam mattress. Not one of those cheap RV mattresses. And it's not short like a lot of the other trailers. It's a real king size mattress. You have lots of closet space in this model as well as your washer and dryer hookup up here in the bedroom where it makes sense. All the other toy haulers put the washer and dryer hookup back in the garage. Another thing that makes Raptor, it separates them, their quality and everything is the solid wood in all the cabinets, how all the cabinets are screwed and glued together. They're not stapled together. But when you come into your bedroom and you see your dresser drawers, but you'll see a nice finished wood top. You don't see Formica and laminate countertops anywhere in the trailer, not in the bedroom, not in the bathroom. You got solid surface in the kitchen, in the bathroom. You got real wood in the bedroom. It's just very elegant, very nice trailer. Um, lots of little storage areas over here. You've also got another one of those charging centers for your phone and a 110 outlet. I like the roller shades. I like that they put windows here in the slide, especially windows that can open. And like I said before, you got your return air here for the bedroom, return air in the main salon, return air in the garage. That's 45,000 BTUs of air conditioning cooling down this trailer. It's going to make it really nice on a hot day at the dunes. Well, that's about it for this Raptor trailer. Come on down to Motorsports Land and check them out. Thanks.